Hip hop superstar ASAP Rocky is facing charges in connection with a shooting in Hollywood. The rapper, whose real name is Rakeem Mayers, is being charged with two felony counts of assault with a semi automatic firearm. So ASAP Rocky just embarrassed our girl Rihanna yet again cause he just got charged with assault and he may be going to jail. Rihanna is sick and tired of the whole thing and it looks like she is sick of Rocky too. But is she really planning to dump him if he has to go to jail? Also, Chris Brown recently threw shade at Miss Megan Thee Stallion and the people are not having it from him this time around. Now Rihanna hasn't exactly been having a great time with her boo and baby daddy ASAP Rocky. At least not in the last couple of days. Even then this drama day back to a long time ago and according to reports Rihanna is over it and she just wants it to end already. So a few months ago I told y'all about how ASAP Rocky was arrested at LAX for firing a pew 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 at somebody back in November and causing the person to sustain some injury but luckily the person didn't lose their life in the fight. Anywho he and Riri went on vacation to Barbados back in April and the moment that they landed back in LAX the police swooped down on them and arrested Rocky. Rihanna was also heavily pregnant at the time so it was just a whole lot of stress for her especially since the police searched Rocky's home and found a whole lot of pew pew pews in the house and now when I say pew 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 I hope y'all know what I mean because I ain't gonna say the real word or I could get flagged but that's not the first time that Rocky's been arrested because that man has seen more than his fair share of police jail cells I mean he was even arrested in Sweden and President Trump had to step in to secure his release it's just a whole lot of mess but things just got even worse because he got charged for the incident and from the look of things, he could get into a whole lot of trouble and even face jail time if he's found guilty. The district attorney for Los Angeles County, George Garkin, said, Discharging a gun in a public place is a serious offense that could have ended with tragic consequences, not only for the person targeted, but also for innocent bystanders visiting Hollywood. My office conducted a thorough review of the evidence in this case and determined that the addition of a special firearm allegation was warranted. Yeah, you guys, this sounds extra serious, and according According to the reports, he could get jail time of up to nine years if he's found guilty. Imagine being able to bag Rihanna as your baby mama, then go and pull dumb tricks like this. He really trying to threaten the bag this time because Riri has always managed to stay on the good side of the law, minding her business, just being a bad bee and releasing fire makeup products. Then she gets involved with Rocky and all of a sudden her name is being tied to all sorts of legal cases just because of who she's involved with. Seriously, Rocky has got to do better than this because Riri deserves better. And the sad thing about all this is that they just got back to LA a few days ago before this whole mess because they were spotted at LAX with their son. But y'all, somehow that's not even the craziest part of all this. The craziest part is the identity of the man that Rocky shot. And it is nobody else other than his friend and fellow ASAP mob member ASAP Relly. People noticed that they haven't really been messing with each other throughout this year, but we didn't know exactly what was going on. But now Relly has come forward to identify himself as the man that Rocky Rocky fired the pew 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 at because they got into an argument which led into an altercation. We still don't know what led to the fight in the first place, but what we do know is that Relly didn't like being fired at, of course, because he is now suing Rocky. According to Relly's lawyers, he had been lured by Rocky to a quiet location under the pretense of wanting to have a conversation. They said, unbeknownst to Mr. Efron, ASAP Rocky was not just planning for a conversation and came armed with a semi-automatic after a ride Arriving at a location, a conversation ensued whereby without provocation, warning, or any justification, ASAP Rocky produced the handgun and intentionally fired multiple shots at Mr. Efron. Well, really is done being silent and he is now suing his friend, well, former friend. What that means is that not only does Rocky have a criminal case with the police, but now he has a civil case with Relly as well. Relly says that he was hit by fragments and he also suffered injuries. He also claimed that the whole incident was captured by near by surveillance cameras so it looks like they got Rocky nice and good. Now I'm not gonna lie I don't think that the civil case with Relly is going to be all that serious well definitely not as serious as the criminal case he was charged with but I think that he may end up settling with Relly out of court which will make this case go away but the real issue is the criminal case. He was charged with not one but two accounts of assault with a semi-automatic and like I said he could be facing nine years. Imagine having a whole kid with Rihanna then you goof off and gotta go away and do nine years. 
Ugh. Anyways, he had to have his first court hearing on Wednesday, the 18th of August, and I gotta admit, he looked pretty fly in his little suit, but he also pled not guilty. This means that the case is probably going to go to trial, but we don't have any specific dates yet, but I'll be sure to let you guys know what happens. Social media has been flooded with fans' opinions since the news broke, and someone said, Is ASAP Rocky about to do jail time for shooting at somebody last year, or is Billion Dollar Rihanna gonna get him out of jail time? I don't think Rihanna's money is gonna save him from this mess, but someone else said, Seems like ASAP Rocky is either always in jail or about to go back to jail. And this other person tweeted, I never know what's happening between Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. One minute they're engaged, then he cheated on her, then back together, and then he's in jail. Y'all, it has just been a full-blown mess, and that's pure facts. But speaking of Rihanna, a source revealed that she is upset about the whole thing, which doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, she has a three-month-old son, and now she has to deal with all this mess? The source revealed that she has been trying to stay calm, saying she's feeling anxious and wishes this whole thing would be over already. She feels like their son needs his father to be present in his life and isn't ready to imagine what their future potentially looks like at this point if Rocky has to go away. She's doing her best to stay strong for herself and Rocky and just wants the best for her baby. I just hope Riri is able to pull through this, especially since she has made it known that she wants her kids to have a great relationship with their father since she didn't have a great relationship with hers. Also, Rocky needs to get his act together ASAP. But speaking of Rihanna, let's talk about another problematic man that she was once involved with, Mr. Chris Brown. It looks like Chris Brown has been out on the streets shading Megan the Stallion. Yeah, I know that it's kind of weird because they don't run in the same circles or anything, so it's surprising that they would be beefing with each other. Well, the drama started after Chris Brown shaded Megan for trying to copy him. As you guys may know, Chris has been having meet and greets and taking pictures with his fans with some poses that have been, um, interesting to say the least. I mean, just take a look at these pictures and tell me they're not wild as F. Also, I found out that the fans had to pay $1,000 for the meet and greet, and I just want to know what y'all be doing for a living, because I want to be able to pay $1,000 to be my favorite celeb too. It also helps me to realize that a lot of the backlash that Chris Brown supporters get on social media starts and ends on social media, because if so many people are willing to drop $1,000 to take pictures with him, well, that man got real fans. But anywho, back to the topic. Not long after the Chris Brown meet and greet picture started going viral on social media, Meg Thee Stallion also had a meet and greet with her fans, and I'm not gonna lie, the poses look kind of similar to Chris Brown's pictures, but at the end of the day, they're just pictures and nobody has a monopoly on any pose. But I think the fans are the ones who chose the poses, not the artists, so we can't say that Megan was copying Chris, but Chris didn't see it that way, cause he took to Instagram to throw shade at Megan for copying him, saying, yeah, I'm happy that my meet and greets are starting to inspire artists to actually give an F about their fans. I didn't invent the wheel on meet and greets, but dang, I sure set the tone. Team Breezy. Yo, why is Chris being petty like this? I mean, why is he even throwing shade in the first place? Celebrities have been doing meet and greets since the start of the time, so it's not like he did something out of the ordinary. Megan also has been doing meet and greets for a while now, and even before she was as big as she is now, so it's not like she started to do it because she saw Chris doing it. Plus, she has a new album out, and we all know that the meet and greets are a very important part of the promotion. And like I said, the fans are usually the ones who get to choose the pose they want. Oh, and don't even get me started on the fact that Chris said that he cares so much about his fans, but he charged them $1,000 for the meet and greet. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that he should have did the meet and greets for free or that he shouldn't have charged that much because at the end of the day, he has a right to set his own price. I'm not saying that he doesn't care about his fans, but I am saying that he should stop acting like he's doing it for free. Social media is kind of divided on this because some people are on Chris's side and think that Megan was copying him with someone saying, Chris Brown over here teaching artists how to interact with their fans, but some are trying to copy it, but they can't because they have no personality to begin with. And this other person said, Megan's meet and greet pictures are the same as Chris Brown's. Other people were more on Megan's side, like this person that said, not you basic Bettys believing Meg the Stallion copy Chris Brown. Y'all ain't never heard of meet and greets before Chris, or am I just that dang old? This other person was kind of spitting facts when they said, while Chris Brown throwing shade at Megan, Megan's meet and greet was pretty much free. You just had to buy her album. Chris Brown charged a stack laughing my butt up. So please save your lecture about doing stuff for the love of your fans. And this is exactly my point. But anywho, y'all check out this other video because I can guarantee that you're going to love it.